Yo, yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know. Anything we bring on the channel, it's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so difficult, guys. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. Eureka! This one is called Polka Foundry. Guys, Polka Foundry is a platform for building borderless and frictionless DeFi and NFT decentralized apps on the Polkadot blockchain. It aims to be the one-stop production hub for DeFi and NFT decentralized apps with all the necessary features, services, integrations, and tools for DeFi experiments, innovations, and real-world solutions. Taking advantage of Polkadot's interoperability and scalability and integrating many DeFi-friendly services into the platform, Polka Foundry also provides UX-enabling features that make decentralized apps as easy to use as everyday applications and bring decentralized apps to the masses. Essentially, guys, they're leveraging the thrilling ecosystem true interoperability and the unprecedented scalability of Polkadot and Substrate. They have a unique UX enabling features bringing decentralized apps to a much broader population. They also have EVM compatible straightforward to migrate straight from Ethereum and they have built in made for DeFi services to make it easy for DeFi apps to manage identities, store files and access Oracle data. Examining some of their use cases here guys, what can you build on Polka Foundry? Well guys, they have their NFT auction and marketplaces. This enables decentralized apps to create frictionless UX to attract larger audiences such as artists, musicians, and collectors. The marketplaces can also store NFTs, metadata, and large files on Polka Foundry's DocuGuard service. They have open lending platforms, guys. You can connect decentralized apps to reliable sources for price feeds and credit checks to automate loan decisions. They also have cross-chain decentralized exchanges. This you can exchange with tokens on parachains or cryptocurrencies on external chains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. via bridges. As for their DeFi derivatives, with their EVM support, it's straightforward and brings ideas from the Ethereum blockchain derivatives decentralized apps to the Polka ecosystem. The high scalability and interoperability of Polka Foundry can drive new innovations into this space. Space. As for decentralized insurance, guys, decentralized apps can integrate Polka ID for identity verification and query for real-world incidents for automatic insurance payments. As for their prediction markets, the Polka Foundry provides prediction decentralized apps with real-time event data and reliable randomness sources to determine prediction results. If we slide over to their token metrics here, guys, we have some valuable information about them. Token ticker is the PKF token. It is an ERC-20 token. The total supply, guys, 200 million PKF. Their initial market cap was 960,000. Their circulating supply, guys, a little over 29 million million tokens here they are on coin market cap guys trading a little over 50 cents approximately 5% down from the 24 hour change. Not an issue at all guys. Of course, we scroll down a little further here guys, we can see their chart in which they have had some price action happening. Their market rank is number 754, which isn't bad at all guys. And their trading volume a little under a million dollars. So how does the Polka Foundry overview fit in the Polkadot ecosystem? Well guys, we have a little bit of a chart here explaining that. We have the parachain, the DeFi utilities, and the bridges all connected to the Polkadot relay chain. From from there that flows into the polka foundry platform and the polka foundry blockchain which we have substrate evm ux features as well as the polka foundry DeFi services polka id docuguard and polka gate as for the external data providers we have chainlink kylink paralink oral and others with their innovative features how does polka foundry solve the decentralized apps ux issues well guys as for the signing key they've used in a place of the private key each signing key has an expiry time and a limited set of permissions thus leaking yields much less and serious consequences this more efficient signing process improves both decentralized app security and the UX safeguard to the keys. As for a flexible payer, decentralized apps can pay transaction fees for users in a decentralized manner. As a result, guys, decentralized apps can employ much more flexible monetization strategies such as free, freemium, pay to unlock, and in-dap purchase models. As for onboarding, become seamless. For Polka ID, an off-chain service that encrypts a user's key splits into its parts. Then it distributes the key to multiple independent and secure key management services. This shifts the burden to keeping keys from users while still preventing illegal access from any single central authority. Their team can be found on their homepage here, guys. Their co-founder and CEO is Mr. Thi Trong. The rest of their team can also be found here, guys. Little excerpts explaining who they are, where they're from, their background, all of that can be found as 
well guys you just have to hover over their names and hit see more this project has been backed by a lot of strong names guys all of them are listed here like moon whale block sync ventures and data capital the list goes on guys definitely check them out now moving into some highlights of today's video guys some meat and potatoes what is red kite well guys red kite is a cutting edge launch pad powered by the polka foundry as a part of the growing pkf ecosystem red kite projects are carefully chosen through vetting which takes everything from the origins of the project teams to legitimacy and implementation capacities into account these projects are also supported by a network of their high class marketing partners leading influencers and interactive communities when we look at some of the features Features of the red kite guys they have multi-chain support they're supporting ethereum Binance smart chain polygon pools and is testing polka dot pools on polka foundry testnet to become the first launch pad on polka dot with flexible pool types and whitelist conditions as for their tier and reputation this mechanism monitors and punishes negative behaviors to the tokens pricing the reputation score will affect the participants tier and their ability to participate in future launches as for fairness guys they have a lane based swap system with red kites lane based swap system guys every participant will get an opportunity to join based on their tier without indulging in a gas war to ensure fair and efficient participation as for their integrated vesting schedule unlike other launch pads guys red kite launch pad has a customized distribution feature that will allow projects to vest their tokens in pre-sale or post-sale secondary offerings as for their parachain crowd loan guys the kasuma and polka dot parachain auctions are around the corner red kite supports crowd loan campaigns for projects to collect ksm and dot tokens effectively for winning the auction if you guys want to launch your project on red kite you can apply to launch just by clicking this link here moving on to the next highlight guys is the polka smith ecosystem what exactly is this you guys are probably wondering well it's a canary chain of polka foundry a one-stop production hub creating borderless and frictionless DeFi and nft applications on the kasuma network the polka smith will be a reliable platform for early stage startups to unleash their creativity, experiment with bold new ideas, and hack the proliferative life growth. They're essentially great for early stage startups that need to grow quickly and easily experiment with bold new ideas. Meanwhile, guys, Polka Foundry is implemented on the Polkadot network to serve enterprises and B2B applications that require high stability and dependability. The Polka Smith will be the canary environment to try out all the Polka Foundry features. Other decentralized apps built on the Polka Foundry like NFTify and Swapaberry also don't have to wait for Polkadot to create a runnable application. Instead, they can work and experiment on their canary environment shout out to all my students i love you Group shout out to the crypto class gang shout out to the lambo gang shout out to the whale gang shout out to the hot gang thank you for always your continued support guys i really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button for me drop a comment in the comment section below please remember guys we are on partial channel so whether your opinion is negative or positive we'd be more than happy to hear it that being said guys class is now dismissed we'll see you in our next video professor crypto out